How are you pupils? Welcome to our subject of mathematics. This is class 5 and our topic is multiples and factors. My name is teacher Edi. Please go with me. All right. As I said, this is the first lesson in primary 5 and our topic actually we are going to look about the greatest common factor which is called the GCF that is an abbreviation or highest common factors HCF or you can call it greatest common divisor GCD those are abbreviations all right okay first of all you have to understand what is the meaning of what is the meaning of factors what is the meaning of factors factors are the numbers that can be used to divide a given number without a reminder any number that can be used to divide a given number without a reminder but remember sometimes is called the divisor a factor is a number that can be used to divide a given number without a reminder and these numbers sometimes are called the divisor example factors of 8 that means which are the numbers can be used to divide this 8 so factors of 8 are 1 we go to our table because 1 can be used to divide 8 that means 8 divided by 1 we will get 8 but also we have another factor of 8 which is 2 Another factor of 8 is 4, and another factor of 8 is 8. Why 8? 8 divided by 8, you will get 1. 8 divided by 4, you will get 2. And 8 divided by 2, you will get 4. Therefore, 1, 2, 4, and 8 are factors of 8. Example, another example again. Factors of 9 are 1, 3, and 9. Are 1 3 and 9 why so because 9 can be divided by 1 but also 9 can be divided by 3 and 9 can be divided by 9 all right so if someone will ask you what is the meaning of factor factors are the number that can be used to divide a given number without a reminder all right but again another terminology in our topic is this one what are the common factors what are the common factors oh common factors are the factors that have appeared in both two or more given numbers common factors are the factor that have appeared in both two or more given numbers example what are the common factors of 8 and 12 first of all we, we, we have to start finding the factors of 8 first. As you can see here, factors of 8 are 1, 2, 4, and 8. Again, you come to find the factors of 12. Factor of 12 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12 itself. Why so? When we go to our table, table number 12, I mean table number 1, you will find the 12 there because 1 times 12 will get 12. Table number 2. 2 times 6, you will get 12. Table number 3, 3 times 4, you will get 12. Table number 4, 4 times 3, you will get 12. Table number 6, 6 times 2, you will get 12. Even table number 12, 12 times 1, you will get 12. All right, after there, we go to look the common ones which have appeared in both two given numbers. The common factors there are 1, 2, and 4. Why 1, 2, and 4? In the first there, there is 1 and here 1. Here there is 2 and here 2. But here there is 4 and here there is 4. So therefore, this, this, this digits which have appeared in both one, we call them a common factor. That's why 1, 2, and 4 are our common factor in the right answer. Another terminology that you have to, uh, that you have to know is, what is the greatest common factor? What is the greatest common factor? The greatest common factor, its abbreviation is GCF, is the factor which is greater among all other common factors. 
you'll be given so many common factors but among of them there is one which is which is bigger than all that we call it a greatest one all right example from our above common factors which are one two and four from here which are one two and four the greatest one is four therefore the gcf or greatest common factor of eight and twelve is four all right i think if you have understood all these terminologies now let's go to another session method used in finding gcf or hcf we have only two main methods used in finding gcf or hcf namely the first one is by listing method we can find gcf or hcf by listing method the second one which is b by prime factorization prime factorization is another method that can be used to find the gcf or greatest common factors all right today let us start with listing method all right by listing method in finding the gcf or hcf by listing method first start to find the factors of each given number second then find the common factors among all the given numbers and lastly pick the greatest one from the common factor obtained from the common factor obtained all right example number one find the hcf hcf its long term is highest common factor of the following numbers by listing method you have guided to use listing method all right a 24 and 36 24 and 36 remember our procedure we have to start finding the factor of each given number the second one find the common factors among all the given numbers and lastly you pick the greatest one from the common factors obtained and that one will be your greatest common factor all right let's go back to our solution solution first of all find the factors of 24 and 36 factors of 24 we are looking at the numbers which can be used to divide this 24 here we have one when you go to table number one you will get 24 table number two table number three also it's agree because table number two it will be two times z 12 you will get 24 three times the six you will get 24 four times the six also will get 24 six times the four you will get 24 eight times the three you will get 24 12 times 2 you will get 24 and 24 times 1 you will get 24 therefore the factors of 24 are 1 2 3 4 6 8 12 and 24 again we come to find the factors of 36 factors of 36 are 1 2 3 4 6 9 12 8 and 36 itself why so yes because 1 times 36 you will get 36 2 times 18 you will get 36 3 times 12 you will get 36 4 times 9 you will get 36 but also 9 times 4 you will get 36 all right so these all these numbers that which you see here are the factors of 36 after there we go to find the common factors the common factors from our question 24 and the 36 numbers given the common factors there are 1 2 3 4 6 and 12 because they have appeared in both two numbers and the greatest one highest common factors from those common factors is 12 and you write the answer this is how to find the highest common factor by listing method this is an example number one let's go to see example number two Example number two, find the GCF of 15 and 25. This one is very simple. Find the GCF of 15 and 25. Solution as usual. First of all, we have to find the factors of 15 and 25. Factors of 15, that means the number that can be used to divide 15 without a reminder. All right. Number one, this one, table number one, it can be used to divide 15 because it will be 15 itself. There is 3, we have 5 and 15. 1, 3, 5 and 15. Why? Because 3 times 5 will get 15. 
5 times 3 once you will get 15 and 15 times 1 you will get 15 now we come to find the factors of 25 factors 25 are 1 5 and 25 1 5 and 25 all right 1 divided by i mean 25 divided by 1 you will get 25 but 25 divided by 5 you will get 5 uh, hey, therefore this one are the factors of 25 after there we go to find the common factors which are 1 and 5 1 and 5 have appeared both in 15 and in 25 here there is 1 and here there is 1 here there is 5 and here there is 5 therefore after there we have 1 and 5 we go to find the greatest one we pick one the greatest one hcf i mean the highest common factor from the common factors there is 5 so 5 is our answer that is the highest common one from these two given number now let's go again to see example number three example number three you've asked it to find the gcf of 12 15 and 8 12 15 and 18 all right now we've given three numbers we have 12 15 and 8 as usual we go to solution we find the factors of 12 first which will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. You just look in your table. One table after another. If you will find there is 12, that means that is a factor, okay? 15 here. and 15, we have 1, 3, 5, and 15. All these are the factors of 15. But the factor of 18 are 1, 2, 3, 6, 9, and 18. Therefore, from all these factors that we have seen here above in this three digits, which number have appeared in both? We have here in 12 we have 1, 15 we have 1, 18 we have 1. And in 12 we have 3, again in 15 we have 3, again in 8 we have 3. Therefore 1 and 3 are common factors of 12, 15 and 18. But we have asked GCF. GCF we got to pick the greatest one from all these common factors. 1 and 3. Which one is greater then? I hope it's 3. Therefore the greatest one, GCF, among all factors above is 3 and you write the answer let us go to see again example number 4 but this is your challenge you have to do it yourself I'm giving you one minute by following our procedures just do it 10 9 8 7 Six, five, four, three, two, one. All right. So if your solution is like this, is how you see here, that means you have got it. So, all right. So thank you very much. This is end of our end of our 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 topic now let's see this exercise actually we have almost like 15 questions you have to do them all find the highest common factor of the following number by listing method find the hcf of the following number by listing method yes we've got it to use only listing method from number one up to number 15 do them all and remember to collect your work and I will see them here at school. We will give you a parent. We will bring here. And then I will mark. I will assess everyone the way you have done it. Thank you very much. I miss you so much. See you again to the next lesson.